Good morning, guys. I was thinking about questions that I am asked on a regular basis. And I think about one of the main questions that gets asked in the AC season that maybe we kind of take for granted because we know the answer, but all the homeowners don't know the answer, which is why does your AC freeze up? There can be a few different reasons why the AC freezes up. Most of the time they fall into two different categories, which is low charge and low airflow. Low charge is just a lack of refrigerant in the system. Refrigerant pressure corresponds to the temperature that refrigerant is at for the pressure temperature chart. Well, let's say around 58 pounds, R22 drops below freezing and right below 100 pounds or right around 100 pounds, R14A does the same thing. So when you start having a refrigerant deficiency and it crosses those boundaries, your coil will start to freeze up and it will start at the metering device, which is either a TXV or a piston or a capillary tube in an older system. And it will freeze all the way back to the compressor if it's let, uh, if it's unattended to. The second group of issues that will cause a freeze up, and we're talking about the two most common, there's of course some random crap out there that you know we just can't discuss everything that could happen. But lack of airflow. If your filter is extremely dirty, if your furnace coil or your furnace or your coil is dirty, meaning like if you have a secondary heat exchanger, it can be very dirty and cause the same thing. Uh, that would be on a high efficiency furnace, like above 90% furnace has a condensing gas furnace. Or your air conditioning coil is very dirty. Uh, you have a media filter, like a five inch filter, it can be very dirty. So anything that slows airflow, uh, bad ductwork. If you try to put a new unit in, all of a sudden it starts freezing up. You can look to the ductwork improper sizing you shut too many dampers off on your ductwork if you shut too many grills like if you have a supply grill in a restroom and it's getting too much air and it's cold in there you shut the grill then you shut another grill then you shut another grill and all of a sudden you're gonna have a freeze up because you're causing a lack of airflow even though that the, the grills that remain get excellent airflow because the air is being funneled into them overall the system airflow is lower so according to freeze ups or dealing with freeze ups, you usually have two categories, airflow related issues and charge related issues. There can be some other things like a expansion valve failure. If your TXV fails, it can cause a freeze up. If it becomes clogged, if your piston becomes clogged, which is less common, but still happens. Uh, dryers become clogged, they can cause freeze up. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, but the main, the main two are just airflow related.